Hey, <laughs> great to see you here again for uh, day two of Advent of NeoVim. Yesterday we downloaded, installed NeoVim and gave you the briefest introduction of actually, you know, editing something inside of your configuration. But today we're going to do a little bit of a tutorial about how to actually use NeoVim in a bit more structured of a format. But uh, we were probably saying, how can I get good? I, this video is not even that long. I don't know how long it's going to be, but it, it can't be even that long. Well, here's the thing. You are not going to get good just by like just watching me. Okay. I know this is bad for my views. I'm sure plummets. Everyone's left. Everyone's saying in the comments, ha ha. I left because you gave good advice, uh, et cetera. I'm sure that's already happening right now, but my advice to you is you have to actually practice. You can't just listen to me. You got to go do stuff. This isn't just for learning NeoVim. This is for learning anything. You want to learn how to write Rust? Sorry, don't do that. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. You got to actually practice. You got to go write some Rust programs. You got to go physically type it in the keyboard or at least prompt your AI to do it for you and copy paste it in. Whatever it is the kids are doing these days. Okay, but you got to go actually do it and try it. Okay, so same thing for Vim. If all you do is sort of, I don't know, occasionally watch a video or like occasionally learn something, but you're never actually practicing or trying, it's never going to click. You're not going to get any faster. You're not going to learn any new tricks. So you got to go try. Now you're probably thinking, okay, how do I try? Easy peasy. Open NeoVim. Run Tutor. You're saying, dude, Tutor's confusing. Okay, let's do it together. All right. I have my NeoVim open. I run Tutor, right? That's colon capital T, tutor, and then enter. Then let's open this. Welcome to the NeoVim tutorial. NeoVim is a very powerful editor that has many commands. Too many to explain a tutorial such as this. That is so true, honestly. The tutorial is designed to describe enough of the commands that you'll be able to easily use NeoVim as an all-purpose editor. I don't think it gets quite that far, but it is pretty good. Okay, so, and then it just reminds you, hey, make sure you use this and also <laughs> caps lock, don't have it on because it will break things. It's true. So we're on lesson zero. Whoops, I already skipped ahead. There we go. The commands in this lesson will modify text, but we're not going to save anything, okay? So then whenever you see this like this, this little like angle brackety thing, and then this, this means I, I'm going to press a special key. Don't literally type left angle bracket here and then capital E-S-C, right? No, it's escape and then U, okay? So it's interactive, which is really cool. So little stuff's going to show up on the side for this even, right? So when you type enter on links like this, you'll open up help for it. Very cool, right? And if you type on something like this, it'll open up here. Holy crap. Very cool, right? Or you can do capital K just like this. And then that will also do something. That's keyword program. That's why it's a K. Not for kelp, like help with a silent K or something like that. That's not right. And then to close it, you have to do colon Q enter, right? So when I press capital K, I open up this help window, pops up on the top. I do colon Q enter, that closes the window. We go back to where we were, all right? So other so then it says, hey, you're gonna get a red X, great. Okay, you'll be prompt to do a command. So you can do help and then enter like this. It would open up help, awesome. And then sometimes it'll tell you to run something like escape, right? Zero F space. D3WP dollar sign P. Obviously, really easy to read. So that gives you all the little info for that. So the very first thing, moving the cursor. Hopefully, all of that was in the first window. I guess scrolling is on. You can use your mouse too if you want here. Um, so first thing, move your cursor. HJKL. Please, guys, do not remap these. I know some people are saying, oh, my pinky sits on semicolon. Yes, you can type HJKL. It's not about your fingers landing perfectly on these all the time. These are not the most important movements. Please don't start remapping right from the beginning. Everything will be broken in your brain compared to everyone else's. Just when you want to move left, just go like this. Oh, I know. Crazy, right? So it's like, even though I had to move my finger from here to there, it was fine, right? It was fine because it was just like from here to there. That's all it takes to me to go J to H. If you have a weird keyboard layout, also don't remap them. Just type the letters like you would. Like if I asked you to type hello, you'd be able to type H and L's, no problem. So just, just do that, okay? So anyways, it, it totally doesn't make any sense. H, left, J, down, K, up, L to the right. It's fine. I mean, H and L make sense and J and K you just have to remember. So that's fine. 
just moving around and practice it's the same thing right in fact now i can't even usually remember whether k or j is up or down i just know that like when i want to go up i know where to press on the keyboard right so it sort of just becomes in your brain and i have to think about it if you ask me like which one's up which one's down etc right so that's fine so anyways you can also hold and it'll do this blah 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 and you can use a uh, down key etc like this and it'll move you as well but you should not use arrow keys okay don't use arrow keys We'll get to that later about how to remap them away so you can't do them but just don't use them they're not going to be helpful to you okay so the next thing is says hey before executing on the following steps read the entire lesson press the escape key make sure you're in normal mode right so you can basically spam escape escape doesn't do anything in normal mode so if you're not sure where you are you can just press escape like five times and you'll get back to normal mode no matter what then we can quit and enter and run this away. Okay. We're not going to do that right now because I don't want to show you that. And then we run tutor again. And now we are like, okay, I can definitely do these things. Now we can go to the next one, right? Q, bang, enter, discards changes. So this is like force quit. Okay. A lot of times you'll see this exclamation. It kind of means like, no, really do this. Okay. It was like Q for quit, but this is like really quit. Okay. That's just something you'll, you'll pick up along the way. So text editing deletion press x to delete the character on the cursor i wonder i was trying to think is x it's like kind of like the escape button right or like exit so move the cursor in line below mark with an x press the x key to delete the unwanted characters cow we move over with l l l l l l l yes yes nice it's like watching ohio state versus michigan that reference probably won't age super well but i just watched that today so i'm gonna make the reference now and put this into video and upload it to the internet and then have it live forever so anyways so there you go so we pressed x and what was cool right is you could see like when we fixed this it turned to a green check mark nice little interactive help a little bit of nice there we just pressed x to delete characters right so we go through, and this is a gray point here. Don't try and memorize everything yet, but do sort of get your ideas of expanding what's possible to do. Because then when you do that thing a lot, you can look up how to do it. So does, does that make sense? So like you'll sort of be editing and you'll find, ah, it feels like I'm going into insert mode and like pressing a backspace and then escaping out again a lot. Surely there's a better way. Yes, there is. You can just press X, right? So it's like that kind of thing where you do pattern recognition on yourself to figure out what stuff you're doing a lot and then see if you can do it better. That's sort of my recommendation as well. Don't try and memorize like everything all the time, all at once. You won't memorize any of it. Just pick one or two to try and get good at those. So text editing insertion. We already talked a little bit about this, but you can just press I to start inserting text, right? So we can go back to here and says there is some. So I press I typed some press the space and I'm going to press escape to get back to normal mode. Use my HJKLs to move around and it says missing from space escape this line. Okay. Right. So there we go. So we pressed all of those and we came back out. All right. Um, so just, just to make sure we're following here, we can press I we're in insert mode. If you don't have any other config, it's just going to show you right here. So we press I we're here. Now we type from and space. Now I press escape insert mode part goes away. I move over to the end of the line with L and then I type line sweet. Now the lines match. We're all set. Okay. A is basically the same as this. Notice this is a capital A, not a lowercase a. All right. If you just press lowercase a, all you're going to do is move like one spot over. Hello. That's not what we want, right? Instead, we want to go to the end of the line. So we press capital A, this line, boom. Now they're the same, press escape and we're out. Okay, so that's capital A to move to the end of the line. The The interesting thing here uh, is sort of like, you'll see this pattern as well inside of him and of him. It's like maybe a letter does something and then the capital letter does like a bigger version of that. It's not always true because sometimes it doesn't make sense for there to be a bigger version, but like, a goes just after right big a goes to the end of the line so you sort of pick up on those that's something that can help you sort of expand your ideas as well so we did capital a to get here ing space h-e-r-e -E. we're gonna press period sweet matches now press escape okay so that's capital a not too crazy you can do colon wq like we talked about in the last one to write and quit a file so then you can run nvim tutor blah 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 that's fine great summary 
who ever talked about this, HJKL, you need to practice these yourself. You can read over them. So next one, deletion commands. Okay. And this is probably the last one that we're going to do sort of for this, uh, this thing. You can finish the rest of tutor, but like after you have these, you definitely should be able to figure out the rest of tutor by yourself. And I will say, I'm sorry, I'm ranting a little bit in the video, but it's my video and it's my Christmas present to myself to just make Neovim videos that I wanted to. So too bad. I will say now I almost forgot my rant, but I didn't, I think. Oh, right. If you're, if like by the time you get done with tutor, you're just thinking like gross. I hate that. I have to read things. I'm just going to like, Either try and change that part of yourself to like reading things more, which is definitely possible to do. It's definitely possible to trick yourself into liking reading more and getting enjoyment out of that. Or you might not end up enjoying NeoVim just because you're going to have to read things to understand what's going on because you're going to build more of your stuff for yourself. So it's just something to consider like along the way that you really should be gauging as we go through Advent of Neovim, if this is something that you want to do. I know, once again, I'm telling people to stop watching my videos. Too bad. That's okay. So we'll do uh, we'll do a little bit of lesson two here, and we'll start, uh, and then we'll quit, right? So it says, press escape to make sure you're in normal mode. Move the cursor to the line marked with the X. That's where we are. Press DW to make the words disappear. There are a some words fun that don't belong. So it says, press DW. There are some words that don't belong and then l l l l l l in this sentence sweet and we got the green now right so it says type dw yes so all we did was press dw and then that deleted a word <laughs> we're going to come back to this later but this is where it starts to be very exciting is because dw delete word you can also start combining that with other motions later but We'll get there. So now it says more deletion commands. Type D dollar sign to delete to the end of the line. Press escape. Make sure normal mode. Done. Move the cursor to the line marked with this. Move the cursor to the end of the correct line. So after it says somebody type the end of this line twice. So we go to here. Now it says press D and dollar sign. We delete to the end of the line. Now what's cool, right? I'll undo that. Is if I just press dollar sign, I'm going to move to the end of the line. If I press zero, I could move to the front of this line. If I were going to get how to jump between here later. But so this is basically saying D and then go to go to wherever we were going to move. So if I press dollar sign, I delete in the line. If I press D zero, I'm going to delete to the beginning. Right. And so that's sort of where we're going to start exploring some cool ideas here. Right. And uh, as we get further. So operator in motions, this is where it's going to explain this in a bit more detail. So this is called operators and motions. D is delete operator. OK, so it's kind of like a thing that you're going to do. And then motion is the place that you want to go. Right. So D delete operator and motion is where we will operate on. So so far, right, we've done W. And we haven't done E, but it's kind of like similar idea. Instead of going to the start of the next word, it goes to the end of the current word. And dollar sign takes you to the end of the line, including the last character. So we can do, we're going to practice those, right? Um, and additionally, one thing that's pretty cool is because this is sort of like a language, right, where we can use these together, we can combine these things um, as we go. So if we want to go to, we can press to W. That's going to take us two words. If I go three E, it's going to take us the end of the third word and zero to go to the start of line, like I just mentioned. So you can keep on trying this, and I recommend that you do. Uh, this sort of combination of count, operator, motion is a very essential part of sort of the NeoVim experience, right? So this is just going to show how, hey, look at this. We can do the same idea that we just did before, which is delete two words. So we go to here and we say D to W, delete two words. I press W to move forward, D for W, right? I want to delete four words, right? You count one, two, three, four. Okay, right? So I go D four W, or you can go four DW. Both are going to work in this case. And then 3DW here, boom, now we've got everything. And now there's sort of this idea too, that we have like 
where instead of just operating on particular words, we can operate on particular lines. And so this one, it just tells you that you can use DD, DD to delete things, right? DD, DD, sugar is sweet and so are you. Rose are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet and so are you. Nice. And then the last one is that we can press U to undo uh, last commands and capital U to fix a whole line. I've almost never used capital U, but like now reading this again, as we're going through here, I do feel like it would be sick to pull out on a live stream and sort of like manufacture a situation where it would look really cool uh, to have that up my sleeve. But usually I just press U in lowercase U enough times until we're ready. So that's pretty much everything for um, lesson two. Like I said, you should go do the rest of these. I really don't think that you guys are going to be that interested in watching me uh, work through this. If you really want me to, I guess you can leave a comment. I probably won't do it, uh, but maybe I'll just do the rest of it later for you. Anyways, that's Vim Tutor. You need to practice. Okay. That's my present to you is some good advice. Bye.